Okay, look, I did a couple things on Black Friday. This was one of them. Let's do an unboxing of my Yankee Candle purchases. <laughs> So here's the deal. I have not purchased from Yankee Candle before. I'm trying to focus a little more on small businesses, but we're trapped at home. I wanna get presents from my mom and there's a particular scent that you can get at Yankee Candle that I know she likes. So I splurged, well, I spent $20 and I got all this. Some of it is for me, some of it is for my mom. We're gonna sniff it all together. I don't know, hopefully it's good. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. I can't believe this is $20. Does this look nuts? <laughs> Okay, so basically they have little votives and I got a whole bunch of scents that I thought I'd like and that I thought my mom would like in their little votives. So if we don't love them, it's okay. We can give them away or use them and it won't last that long, you know? And I already opened this part, just this envelope. It's really weird. They have like a wine coupon, you know, the naked wine that you get in lots of random things. I think I've got gotten it in subscription boxes even. Like, why is this with Yankee Candle? Also, Yankee Candle rewards, celebrate the holidays. I'm not a fan of Christmas scents, so you'll see that in a moment. Oh yeah, and then there was a Geico ad. Why is there a Geico ad in Yankee Candle? That's really weird. I mean, cool, people should be insured, that's for sure, but oh my gosh. Yeah, $20.67. Oh, so here it says how to love a Yankee candle. Trim the wick and let the wax pool. I, what? I thought you just light a candle. Okay, let's do this. How cool is this? That's really nice. So they boxed up all the different scents that I picked in this protective little plastic tub. I feel like you could reuse this for candles and for other things. Actually, I'll have to think of a good reuse for this, but that's really nice. And then, because obviously they were having a, a sale. I think it was 40% or something. I got many of the scent that my mom likes. Four of them, four of these giant things. There is no way she's gonna watch this video. I would be really surprised. But yeah, this is the scent that she seems to like. It's the Chesapeake Bay, which is still a Yankee candle, I think. It's just they're more uh, therapeutically oriented, massage style ones. Ones. I don't know. So they have these really big ones. Oh, that smells really good. She has good taste, my mom. <laughs> so I got her two of this scent and two of this scent, which is, you might want to know what they smell like perhaps. So this is Peace and Tranquility. Wasn't that as well? No. Peace and Tranquility Cashmere Jasmine is what this scent is. These are lovely glass jars. Definitely would reuse these. I'm going to have to tell her to give me her old jars. This smells like clean laundry and a little bit of baby powder, but in a really lovely way. A little bit oceanic almost, like, like you're in a very clean wooden beach hut kind of thing. Hut by the beach, I don't know. That smells lovely. Very different to the other one. This one's very subtle, a good background scent. This one, which is Joy and Laughter at Cranberry Dahlia. You definitely get the berry first. It's quite a rich fragrance. This is very suitable for multiple seasons. Like I could see this being a fall scent, but also no problem with it being a summer scent. It's very fresh and berry, uh, but, but warm and woodsy at the same time. Great stuff. Oh, and then there was one scent that like went out of stock while I was looking at it. So I couldn't get it in the teensy little ones. By the way, it's pretty nuts, right? That all of this was $20, all of this, four of these. 12 of these, one of these. <laughs> okay, so this one is called Coconut Beach. Obviously this one is for me, if you know my scent profile. <sighs> it's like a marshmallow coconut. Yeah, it's kind of sweet and marshmallowy. It's a sweet coconut, not super complex. That's delish though, I really like it. Cause here's the deal. So I love candles, but I have tons of candles that I went nuts over many years ago, like the big jars of $3 candles that you get from Walmart or Michaels. They're all hazelnut scented or vanilla scented and stuff like that. And I just wanted something different. So we're gonna see if we can sniff these. This is for my mom, sage and citrus. Mmm, that's really good. It's very much a mid-tone herby sort of thing. I don't smell a lot of citrus. It's more, it's more a straight herb, but it's not like bundle of herb in a witchy way. It's more of like someone's cooking with herbs kind of thing. That's really nice. Sage and citrus. Not citrusy though. Here we have an orange one. This is called Harvest. Oh, that's like an apple cinnamon. That's very much an apple cinnamon. Maybe even a little pumpkin-y. Very full, 
very full in winter too. Like it smells like those pine cones at the grocery store. Okay, what's this one? Warm Luxe Cashmere. That doesn't smell like much to be honest. Maybe a little bit like this. Oh, this would make, se make sense. This is cashmere too. It smells a bit like this cashmere one and like linen sort of thing, but much, much fainter. Balsam and cedar. Very sappy. It's a very sappy wood sort of scent. Like the high note of sap. A little bit of a tangy scent. Not not a deep woody scent, like a tangy scent. All right. Ooh, dried lavender and oak. Oh, that's lovely. It's almost sexy, but in quite a mature way. It's a very mature sort of well-rounded scent. The oak sort of grounds the lavender, so it's not overly floral. It's, that's really lovely. I'm surprised. Dried lavender and oak. So, so my mom is difficult to get presents for so I know that if there's anything that she doesn't like I have to be okay with taking it because that could happen with all of these. Midsummer? Nope. Yeah, Midsummer's Night. I have no idea what that smells like. Ozone? Maybe? Ozone? Man? Male aftershave? Not great. Bathroom scent? It's okay. It reminds me of the scents that I tried at Alchemia that smell like soaps and bath products. Not in the best way. All right, lemon lavender. I like the color. Ooh, the first hit is just a little bit of lemon, but then the lavender is almost like a little girl's perfume kind of thing. Very light and sweet in like a, here's your grown up lavender perfume, but it's really a little girl's perfume kind of way. Yeah, it literally, I, I smell like a, yeah, it's a child scent. Very youthful, how about that? Okay, what do we have? Bahama Breeze. That's for me. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's like if you just imagine a fake tropical icky, like a toilet spray. Oh God. It's that's it's a tropical toilet spray. Like they did all the cleaning and then they spritzed it with tropical stuff to make it smell better. That's that's really bad. I'm I don't know what the garage maybe. Sorry, what's this next one? I had to clear it out. Lilac blossoms. It smells very floral. Floral but artificial. Um either I'm getting overwhelmed by this sense or it's getting more artificial. So it's quite artificial. Just heavily floral and artificial. As a side note, the lemon lavender, I, I like that. The, the youthful young kids room sort of scent, I like it. Uh, homemade herb lemonade. Ooh, oh man, I can't smell anything. It's like the, the cashmere one. Maybe the lightest lemon, but not much. Sun and sand. Oh, please smell good. That's pretty good. It's not as good as coconut beach, but it's less sweet. A little more sand and like tanning products. Coconut beach is more tanning oil. Coconut tanning oil, sweet ice cream, that kind of day at the beach. And this is more like sunscreen and sand coated in your sunscreen sort of day. Sun and sand. It's good though, I like it. And sun and sand. I guess I got two. I wish I got into the coconut beach, but that's fine. Cool, that was everything. That was a lot of scents. That was a lot of sniffing going on. I think that these Chesapeake Bay are more complex than some of the scents that I smelled there. Um, I see why my mom likes them. I hope she likes these gifts. This definitely, if I had a spa, I would get cashmere jasmine because it's quite innocuous and clean and, and just nice. And I would definitely get myself a big one of Coconut Beach. That was really fun. That was really fun. If you have any favorite candles from anywhere, then please do let us know down below. That would be fun. If you have good alternatives that are small businesses or things like that, that would be great. But if you do have any favorite Yankee Candle or Chesapeake Bay, whatever, let us know. That'd be fun. Uh, I mean, this is literally all I've ever smelt of them. I think maybe I've had a sniff at TJ Maxx or something before, but hopefully my mom likes them and hopefully you like this video if you found it fun interesting helpful or anything like that then i do hope you hit subscribe down below give us a like a dislike if you didn't like it and share your thoughts and feelings too wherever you are i hope you're having the best day that you possibly can be kind to the people around you and thanks for hanging out